University of Illinois claims Chicago is the most corrupt city in the United States. It's based on data from the Justice Department, which looked at public corruption convictions between 1976 and 2019. During that time period, Chicago had nearly 1,800 convictions. That's more than Los Angeles, which had the second highest total, and New York, which ranked third. The report also found that Illinois is the third most corrupt state in the country. The author of that report, former Chicago alderman and USC professor Dick Simpson, joins us this morning. Good morning, professor. Good morning, guys. Uh, so you, you've got the Burke case, the Solis case, the Madigan case. Is there a running thread through all of this? Well, it goes back to machine politics uh, and in Chicago, aldermanic privilege. But in fact, each, each form of corruption has its own scheme. What governors do, they've got them convicted. Four of our last nine governors went to federal prison. And it's different from what aldermen do. But all of it is taking away uh, money from taxpayers. We pay a corruption tax of about $500 million a year as a cost of corruption, among everything else, the lost lives and the other damage that's done. What do you mean by a corruption tax? Are you saying that we're paying out settlements? Is that what you're talking about? We're not only paying out uh, settlements, we also lose money. If you go back to, for instance, the hired truck scandal, which lasted a decade under the Richard M. Bailey administration, we hired trucks that we did not need. We, they're crooked contracts. And those were costing us about $10 million a year for 10 years. What about inspectors general? Are they somehow handcuffed because their power and, and their finances are kind of set by the people they're trying to keep a, an eye on? Well, the inspector generals are in general doing a great job, but we don't have them everywhere. For instance, the suburbs do not have inspector generals. And yet, when we studied the suburbs over the years, we found more than 300 suburban officials in 60 different suburbs who were involved in corruption. Harvey had a major set of cases in 2019 involving six officials. There are only 25,000 people living in Harvey. Mm. What do we do to turn this around? I know you've been on our show and you've been reporting on this for years. I just feel like it's a broken record. We keep hearing the same thing over and over again. Well, we have a number of steps we can take immediately. For instance, this is the year we're going to redistrict all of the state legislative districts, the congressional districts, and the wards in the city of Chicago. We could do that fairly with an impartial commission instead of having it done in backroom deals. Uh, we could have term limits. We could require, we've begun to require, uh, that students in uh, eighth grade and high school uh, have civics classes. We went, uh, that was the first time in our history that that was a statewide requirement and it's only been enacted for the last three years. So we are doing some things right and we, uh, Inspector Generals is a good example, the requiring education is, but it's gonna take us a decade to clear this up. This has been going on for more than 150 years in Illinois. But you're not expecting those who hold power in Illinois to uh, give up that power when it comes to writing those districts, do you? I mean, what it seems like it seems like voters are bored with the whole gerrymandering issue, and nothing ever happens. And in some states, it's Republicans. In this state, it's Democrats. Uh, we have the power to take to force our officials to do it. We've had uh, promises. To, for instance, Lori Lightfoot supports uh, a uh, fair commission process. Uh, uh, the speaker, the new speaker in the General Assembly has said he supports it, the governor supports it. We just need more uh, pressure from the voters to be able to get it done this time. All right, Dick Simpson, we appreciate you joining us. You can see that full report uh, with the link on your screen. We'll also post the link on our website, WGNTV.com. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. My pleasure.